Grazie per il gruppo Europa della Libertà. Thank you now for the Europe of Freedom and Democracy group, Mr. Bloom, for one minute. Well, there's a lot of self-congratulation going on here in the European Union on International Women's Day. It's my opinion that you've made a complete dog's breakfast of it. You talk about maternity leave. All that's happening with draconian maternity leave, madam, let me tell you, is that fewer and fewer young women in my country are getting jobs because you'd have to be stark staring mad to employ a young woman if you have a small business. So you've done them no favours. We have equal, equal opportunities for car insurance now due to another lunat lunatic uh, uh, judgment by a European court, which means if young women even could afford, uh, could get a job, they couldn't afford to drive to it because they've just had their car insurance doubled. And now you're talking about quotas. What kind of madness is this? Women who have worked all their lives to get to a position of responsibility in business. Professional women are being patronised on quotas. Now they'll sit on a boardroom, those people, those women who have been successful, and people will look across at that boardroom and say, are you a token woman or did you get there because you know your business? The whole thing is completely crazy and it's a tragedy that none of you have done a real job in your lives or you would understand this. Mr. Bloom, do you accept uh, a blue card uh, by Madame Svensson? Please. I help. Uh, Mr. Bloom, man, er inte di. Mr. Bloom, you're not stark raving mad. If you want parental insurance and you deem it to be a good thing, you can just look at the member states who do have a well-developed parental insurance system. It is the case that in those countries, in the Nordic countries, in Sweden for example, they also enjoy the highest share of female employment. And that proves that good parental insurance actually means that you will also have higher employability rates in, uh, and employment rates for women and men as well. So parental insurance is good for equality on the labour market and women can contribute to the prosperity of the EU as well. This is simply not true and not borne out by the statistics in my country. Speak to any small businessman you like in my country. I'm not interested in your country or other people's countries. I'm interested in my country and my economy. And I will tell you that all businessmen and businesswomen will say they will not employ young women because of the draconian maternity laws. I wish, I desperately wish, you would come into the real world. Hands up, any of you have had a real job. Um, Mr. Bloom, do you accept uh, another blue card? So, uh, please, uh, Madame Owir. Thank you, President. Mr. Bloom, you know that in the European Union, uh, women have better education than men, including your home country. Then why do you think when we establish quotas for uh, companies, uh, why do you think the companies then hire their uneducated women? I would simply counsel you, madam, to let companies do their business and the less you regulate, the less you tax, the less you interfere, the quicker our economy will recover. That's what it's all about and that's something you simply don't understand. Another blue card? The last one? <laughs> Madame Estrella, please. Thank you, Madam President. Mr. Bloom, do you know what the United Kingdom's problem is? It's got 52 weeks of badly paid maternity leave, and only the first six weeks are paid at 60%. 
and the other 33 weeks are paid just symbolically and then there are 13 weeks which are not paid at all so it means that only uh, rich families can leave their women at home without the family budget suffering that's the United Kingdom's problem and it's not the problem with our maternity leave proposals I can assure you that the problem with my country is that we've given up self-government and we're members of the European Union. That's my country's problem. Do you accept really the last one? Please. Madam President, I would like to thank Mr. Bloom, actually, for his opinions, because uh, these are fairly widespread. Otherwise, uh, we would have made a lot of progress. There are just a lot of people uh, who uh, are silent. I'd just like to ask you, Mr. Bloom, do you think that children are only the uh, children of women and uh, fathers don't have any responsibility? They don't have to have uh, paternity leave or, in other ways, uh, take care of their family uh, just, and just have to go to work? I believe, madam, that children are the responsibility of their parents and nobody else. I do not accept that somebody takes responsibility for his neighbour's children. That it is for the parents to take responsibility of their children, and, that, and that's how it should be. And the more self-responsibility that we have in Europe, and indeed the world, the better the place would be, in my view. Bene, proseguiamo il dibattito. Let us continue with the debate. Uh, 